President Joel Dean Spiegel, 35 years ago today, along with the alumni class of 1976, I graduated from Einstein. To think that one day I will be serving as the Grand Marshal is beyond a dream come true. I am ever grateful to God, to my dear wife Chaya, to my friends, colleagues, and mentors at Einstein and Yeshiva University. And I get to say that because I'm the Grand Marshal. <laughs> President Joel, members of the class of 2011, their family, friends, distinguished guests, members of the faculty, alumni, ladies and gentlemen. I am privileged to present my friend, Dr. Alan M. Spiegel, the Marilyn and Stanley Katz Dean of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine as he presides over this graduation and celebrates the 50th anniversary of our third graduating MD class. Welcome to this wonderful occasion. It is my privilege to conduct these graduation exercises of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. Members of the class of 2011, I salute you for having reached this important milestone in your lives. And I also salute your families and friends who have helped you reach this point. As my first duty of these exercises, I have the pleasure of introducing you to the president of Yeshiva University, Richard M. Joel. Class of 2031. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, uh, I've had a kind of a busy week. Yesterday I stood here giving law degrees to uh, 390 students at Cardoza's Law School, uh, at the Cardoza Law School, which is pretty nice. They all assured me not, not a one of them was going into malpractice law. <laughs> and this is always an overwhelming occasion for all of us, for this splendid faculty, this outstanding dean, and for this grateful university. But I have to also tell you, you'll hear wonderful things today. I want to tell you that it's all personal. And, and when I stood up yesterday, um, something overcame me, and you'll forgive me if I repeat what I said, because it was spontaneous, and now it'll still be spontaneous. Um, last week, my fifth child graduated from Yeshiva College at our commencement, and I handed him his diploma. Uh, the week before that, he and his uh, 14 buddies, who were part of a a cappella group at Yeshiva University called the Maccabees, performed in the East Room of the White House for the President of the United States, and who liked it, actually. And Tuesday night of this week, he was married, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, you are living the life and in the business of taking our society through their lives, through their life cycles, ensuring that they do so with health, ensuring that they do so with emotional health, being there for them as we, at our times of greatest need, look to our physicians and our healers as those who will preserve us to go to the White House to see our kids sing and to have his college graduation and to be married. It's very special. It all rests with you. I also look at myself. I assure you, in all the dreams I had, Wearing this splendid smock in front of you was not part of my vision for the future, but it's something I take seriously, as you should take your garb seriously on an individual and a personal level. Now, this is, after all, very splendid. I have four epaulets. I, I outrank everyone here, which means I'm to blame for many more things than any of them are. But I also have this beautiful bling, right? <laughs> my presidential bling, which people are envious of my bling. And you all will have your blings that people will look at you and say, wow, look at that bling that that physician is doing. But I also want to remind you, you can see when we shake hands, the bling is real heavy. It's not light. You have to bear it, and proudly, but you have to bear the weight of it too. The other point, as I was getting dressed, so to put my bling on, I need help. 
I don't get to attach it by myself. I don't reach that far. I can't do this by myself. We're not alone. We get to do beautiful things. You're going to polish up the blings of humanity. Right? You're going to, to bear the weight with dignity. But you're also going to know that you can't do it by yourself, and you don't have to, because you have each other. So heal us and research that which we don't know yet. Partner with the transcendent in the ongoing evolution of our humanity and our civilization. Much rests on you. It's a privilege. Society doesn't know which way to look. Don't point them to new normal. Point them to a new horizon. Lead us there for me and my children and my grandchildren and yours. God bless you and congratulations.